a picture-perfect afternoon for what should be a picturesque championship game with a photo finish between number one McLennan and number two Indian River. This is the NJCAA Division I Softball World Series Championship game from Oxford, Alabama. Alongside Zach Letson, I'm Tyler Springs. Awesome to be with you from Alabama this afternoon. Teams expanded field for the first time this year and has narrowed down to two. The deal from Reyes. He's lashed into shallow left center field for a base knock. Cassidy Patterson is aboard. Run. The adjustments are going to be so important. Reyes will take it to first. So a sacrifice for Portanova. You'll see a bunch of those today. If things are powerful, Presley Smith has had an up and down World Series. She drives one to the gap in left center field. This will take Meyer all the way back to the wall. It's off the base of the fence. Whirling around third to score the first run here on Saturday is Cassidy Patterson. And the river strikes first. What a start for the Pioneers. Exactly what they were looking for. I start this game among two other pitchers, like you said, that have really logged a lot of work. The 2-2. Two -two. Cut on and missed. Reyes with a punch out low in the zone. That is the second out to bring Maddox Thomas to the plate with a runner still looming at second base in the form of Presley Smith. Thomas in the left, being sent home. Here comes the throw to the plate, in time, out at the plate. Smith gunned down by Michaela Tosh to close the top of the first. But it is the River who starts out on top. One nothing over number one seed McLennan. The Highlanders come to hit next. 20 feet off the bag at first as the count has gone full on Meyer. And she'll take her base. Patient approach by the center fielder to lead things off. As the number one seed tries to answer the number two seed here in the first. Phipps playing way in on the bunt, able to take it quickly and put Garcia away. So in advance, that dugout and that team. In the dirt for a ball, skips away from Maddox Thomas, and that will allow Meyer to third. Gary Gore, she settles into the game. Allen to second. Santoyo will go to first with it, and the game is tied. An RBI ground out for Trinity Allen. Not what you'd expect, but very effective. It doesn't have to be anything overly flashy if it gets the job done situation. Still Texas for the Bearcats. Along with Chesney Fail and Mackenzie Jenkins. She'll lift this one toward Dora Santoyo. Will step back onto the grass and make the catch. McLennan answers with a run of their own in the bottom of the first. In hugely exciting fashion on this field. It's a three ball count here to Gendrone. Offered, let it go high. So a four pitch walk to begin the second from Katia Reyes. Tell that by where Chesney Fail's positioned. And she will lay down. Fail will put her away as Gary Gorey desires. And that moves the runner, Gendrone, up to second. Yeah, that's really well done by Chesney. Fail hugging the line at third just in case. Above the letters for ball four. A five pitch free pass issued to Jordan Lillis. So her first time at the plate. Confuse Phipps in the sit back. The 0-2 is punched to short. Loveless the flip for one, the turn to first. Not in time. Ball came out of the glove for Allen. Indian River has him cornered with two down for Cassidy Patterson. Swings and misses, ball gets away from the catcher, but retrieved by Heine quickly. You can get running, it's gonna be very hard to get around. 2-2 two -two. to short. And gloved by Loveless. A pair stranded by Katia Reyes in the second. And we remain deadlocked. Yesterday, not a line where you look at and you're certain that that was going to lead to a losing effort. Now, one of those swings was big on a two-run home run from Allen. But McLennan's taken advantage of every base runner. Reyes challenged upstairs and beaten. I Players of the year. No surprise that they got the number one seed in this tournament. First team to punch their ticket to the World Series. In the air, Santoyo beneath it, and she'll take it. 
Bell with just three hits coming in. She'll lop one towards shallow right field. Coming on is Gendrone to make the running grab. One, two, three. Down go the Highlanders in the second at the hands of Jada Geary Gordon. Still tied at one in Oxford. Hitter Chesney Fail flew out to right field to make what we thought was going to be the inning ending third out, and that is not the case that we have to contend with. Dora Santoyo will now collect what is the third out of the bottom half of the second inning. Again, the results don't change, but the replayed batter has a similar result. Four on each of the first two days, six on Wednesday, Thursday. Punched in the left for Portanova. The leadoff hitter has reached in all three frames for Indian River. That cost Indian River an out an inning ago. Stands in, runner going. 41 stolen bases for Adriana Portanova, unchallenged by Heine. I think that's the right play by Heine. Why? Reyes has one strikeout already today. One, two. Same pitch, same result. Extremely consistent in this cleanup spot. Out in front again. That off speed is something for Reyes. <laughs> Let's see if she complies here. 3-2. Swing and a miss. Chased low. Lead off hitter aboard. And one run is scored. Yeah, she knows she's got to be at her absolute best when you're talking about who's on the other side and how great Girigori's been without giving up a hit. Michaela Tosh to first. Right to the glove of Todd. McLennan in this entire World Series 2. Walk off single against Temple. The 1-2. Out in front. Girigori had something for her this time. Jada Girigori paired as possible. It's one and two. Cut on and missed. Three up, three down in the third as Jada Girigori, Jordan Lillis, six, seven, and eight in the order for Indian River. On the ground. Hornback has it easily. How many times in this World Series and on ESPN plus two? Beats it out. That one almost nicked her on the jersey. But Jada Girigori. One run aside, each scoring in the first inning. Taken high for ball four. Reyes has missed both high and low. No put intended here. For a two on and one out. Bunt laid down. No play at third. Interesting choice there for Trinity Allen to try and get the speedy Geary Gory. The missed it, ball four. A run walked in by Taryn Batterton. And it's a 2-1 Indian River advantage over McLennan here in the fourth in unlikely fashion. Which you typically don't see for every single hitter in the lineup unless you're playing a team like this. The 1-2. Swing and a miss. Batterson gets the low chase. Certainly I think would have been a third run if that got by. The 1-1. Launch to the top of the glove. Almost caught by Fail, but she drops it. Coming in to score from third base is Jordan Lillis. And somehow, Sarah Phipps gets to third in time before Fail can recover and tag the bag. And in any context. To short, Loveless to second. And that will do it. But two across for Indian River in a crazy top of the fourth. With an RBI ground out from Allen. On the ground through a naked right side. That side of the infield is there for the taking. Is an OPS I can hardly believe. 
Runner going, throw down, not in time. Garcia has taken it into scoring position. And you certainly, when you talk about no doubles, don't want to let her get in a scoring position potentially here. Allen on the ground softly, going to third. No tag available. The throw was wide from Portanova to Phipps. They're trying to get up off the canvas again here. Bun offered. Bobbled by Todd, but she will keep Madison Garcia at third base at the cost of allowing Heine to first in attacking Cat Reyes. To short, Portanova. Throw was wide. The collision at home knocks Thomas away. Now the runner was ruled to be safe. Then she was tagged out. Thomas still reeling from the collision. Looked like she did initially, and then she was tagged. By that point, home plate umpire Russell Young has already called her safe. But that throw took her foot off, and so that force is out of the question. The catch. One and two incoming. And this hits Hornback. Two of the cleanest pitching teams in this entire tournament. Softly to second. Nothing in two. In the air, shallow center. Coming on. Willis makes the grab. She'll come to the plate. And the runner will decide, I'd better not. Kyla Heine stays put at third. Sacks full of Highlanders. Strikeout. Tosh put away. Full count, two down, tie game for Loveless. Strike three! Ice cold water coursing through the veins of Jada Girigori. She strands the bases loaded, but McLennan equalizes. What unbelievable work by Jada Girigori. The deal to Maddox Thomas. Roller to short, out. Strong throw from Loveless who struck out with the bases loaded. Very interesting. Strike three called. Painting the outer black this time. Two away for Batterton. Yeah. Off the first like a shot. Fouls off strike three. One, two, three. Go the Pioneers in the top half of the fifth. Up to bat next. McLennan with a chance to break ahead. One. Lined up the middle. All the way to the center field fence. To third. A triple to lead off the bottom half of the fifth inning. You call that an anti-shift missile from Taylor Meyer. Next. Nothing's predictable. This might bring one. Patterson's arm from left is not good enough. Taylor Meyer tags after her triple and comes home to score a tie-breaking run here in the fifth. Loaded, only two runs came home, which is great damage control, all things considered. In the air, left field, coming on Patterson into foul ground, and she'll make that grab. Geary Gorey makes her choice with one and two. Challenging Reyes up high has worked today. It works again. Jada Giri Gore in Indian River now trail 4 3 to number one. Looked like miscommunication there between Heine and Chesney Fail as to whom was going to get that, too. Lillis. Oh, the sleight of hand. So sneaky. The 1 0. Lifted to left, Garcia drifting back, reaches up, it's off for glove. They'll get this one into the infield in time to spare a run, but not before it's second and third for the river. Really hurt you as we've harped upon. And Batterton will miss.
I could be wrong. But Moments ago, now Indian River has their own. Porting over to third. Fail will go to the plate, and that will be all. What you needed. If your rotation, it then becomes interesting from the plate. Maybe there would have been a play at first as well for a double play. I agree. Baltimore chop up the middle. It's going to sneak through. One run is in. Here comes another. Oh, my word. Presley Smith, her second RBI knock of the day. And suddenly the river has overcome McLennan. 5-4 in the top of the sixth. Just enough to get it through to the outfield grass. In the air to center, coming on, still coming is Meyer. She'll throw to second, not in time. Nearly a double play. Yeah, one run as we've seen today has never been enough. Yes. Loveless, the force at second, fluidly done. Indian River though, breaks back. Gary has given up one walk and one extra base hit. On a line to second, Santoyo to first. Of wins by Florida Southwestern. Lifted to left, this will take Murillo back. Beneath it, just shy of the track. She'll take it. Michaela Tosh also without a hit today. They have recovered despite trailing. Full count. Right back through the box. Nearly took off Gary Gordy's dome. The two balls back in the center that have challenged up and in. Jada Gary Gordy is bringing it. And McLennan without runs in the sixth. Into the seventh we go. Indian River on top. Five. Darren Batterton with the 1-1. Pushed to fail at third. She'll do it. Bryant just a tapper. It's going to challenge fail. The dive at first unsuccessful. Chesney fail. Back to back plays national title. Without it, we will play the if game. To short, off the glove of Loveless. On hitter number 22. In the hole, again off the glove of Loveless. How about the bottom part of this Indian River order today? You talk about trying to keep your season going. Here Nothing in two. To third. Off the glove of fail. The left side of the McLennan infield is playing both magnet and bounce back net right now. RBI knocks in this game. Allen will take this to first. Another run on the board, a little insurance gathered for Indian River. Lifted to shallow right field. That's enough. And Taylor Meyer is aboard for the third time today. Out to left. Coming on Patterson to make a clutch grab. What a nice underhanded catch. Gary Gorey. To center. Drifting back Lillis to the track. Wall. Can't make the grab. It's all for a minute in the top of the wall. Rounding second and heading for third is Meyer. She'll get there. Jordan Lillis almost made the play of the tournament to rob Trinity Allen of a home run. She keeps it in play. To Phipps. Phipps back to oh, third. My. Oh. <laughs> Mismeasured. One, two. And this hits Reyes. Wow. McLennan scores on a bases loaded hit by pitch. 
Jada Girigori, thank you. Lifted into shallow left. Long run for Patterson. She'll take it. Breaking for the plate and holding is Allen. And as much as McClellan wanted it. One, two. Fail in the air. Above the diamond. Phipps will make the grab. For just the third time this year, McLennan has suffered defeat. Indian River State, the first ones to take them down in this national tournament, they have forced the winner-take-all title game here in Oxford. A smash-mouth start to our Saturday, and it's not over yet, Zach Letson. 